This used to be a booming housing market. People were buying houses in the market when, they were, when it was high, in 2006 and 2007. Now they've lost $100,000, dollars dollars $400,000 of equity in their home, if they had equity, but now they're finding that their mortgage is more than the value of the house. Now, for sale and foreclosure signs dot the landscape. For some people, getting out of those homes is just an added complication to existing turmoil. Many married couples must first face getting out of their marriage and the division of assets or debts that come with divorce. With the recession and the, and the real estate crash, we're, we're finding a lot of people have uh, purchased homes in 06 and 07 uh, who are underwater now getting divorced. Alan Plevy and young Catherine Dickerson at Smolin Plevy in Vienna, Virginia, work with these couples to guide them through the intricate legal process. In dividing the home, the couple could land in one of a few situations. For example, one member of the marriage could buy the other's equity in the home, or attorneys work with realtors to sell the home with as little damage as possible to their client's credit ratings, and with as little debt as possible. Also, in a divorce situation, if nobody wants to buy the other person out of the house, because in that scenario, you're, you're buying more debt than the house is worth. Plevy says one option that's not always favored, but perhaps necessary, is a short sale. A lot of clients come in and this is the most emotional time that they will ever have in their lives. And they're not thinking properly. They help clients figure out what their options will be and what they'll be able to afford in a new home. This sometimes spares real estate agents the time-consuming job of showing the clients homes he or she can't afford. We know what we anticip can anticipate in the distribution of assets from, from the distribution of equity in the marriage and we work with them in looking to see what they can afford. If we can help educate the client with what we know to be their finances and work with the client and work with the real estate agent, it's a much better uh, mechanism to help everybody. Dickerson says that combination of expertise from lawyers, mortgage brokers, and realtors may be just what divorcing couples need to complete the process. Because if a couple's divorcing, they obviously are not very cooperative with one another. Sometimes there are complications even after the couple agrees to sell the house. For example, their respective realtors will have their own client's interests in mind. Or couples may disagree on the listing price, on reductions to that price and when to lower it, whether improvements should be made prior to the listing, and other issues. When that happens, it's to the couple's benefit to have a way to solve the disputes. And that method may be the neutral third realtor. By establishing working relationships with them, attorneys at Smolin Plevy will be able to recommend realtors or mortgage brokers for their clients and vice versa. What we're looking for is innovative people that we can work with, whether they be mortgage brokers trying to help us uh, with a client who's refinancing a house, or a real estate agent who's, who we need to get rid of a house. We need to sell a house on behalf of a client. Through that teamwork of advice and guidance, our clients can receive the service they need, making a challenge that's all too frequent much more manageable.